Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to my relaxing summer morning routine. Of course, things are a bit more chill now than they normally are with self-isolation and quarantine and all that, but I still wanted to share what I'm using on days I do get ready. We've been doing a bit more of like outside social distancing with family and friends. So on days that we do that or days I'm just in the mood to put on makeup, this is what I've been doing. I wanted to share all the products I've been using and our very specific morning routine that is self-isolation. I'm also so excited to be partnering with Ana Louise a jewelry who is sponsoring this video. I've gotten a lot of messages from you guys recently about the earring pieces I've been wearing and they're all from Ana Luisa and I'm so excited to share about them with you right now. If you know me, you know I'm not typically really a big jewelry person. I love my earrings and I love obviously my wedding rings, but other than that, I really don't go for it, but I do love my dainty earrings and Ana Luisa has so many great ones. They're also just a great company when it comes to quality, price, and sustainability. They use 100% recycled gold and sterling silver and all of their packaging is recycled as well. And they actually have a goal to achieve a net zero carbon footprint by the end of 2020 and then maintain that moving forward and I think that is super cool. But it's just really exceptional quality jewelry at very fair prices. So let me tell you about the pieces that I have and I am literally obsessed obsessed with all three of these. So probably my favorite just because I love pearls are the mini organic pearls. These are real pearls. They are absolutely beautiful. The earrings are so well made and they're only $75 for a pair of like real pearls, which I think is amazing. I also love the little Cassie kind of like studded hoops. They kind of go through your ears. There's a little bit of like a peek out hoop and then a really tiny like stud in the center. It's so cute. I like wearing those together. I do have my um, second hole pierced, so I'll wear the Cassie hoop in the first hole and then my mini pearls in the second hole. And then something beautiful they did for the month of pride are these prism dangly earrings. And I do like a more of a statement earring sometime, but I like that these make more of a statement, but they're still so dainty and delicate. And I don't know, they're colorful, but they're not too in your face. And they're just absolutely gorgeous. Like I study them up close and I love a rainbow. So they're just so beautiful. And the prism style is also only $75. They're so fun to like throw on with a summery dress. And again, you could wear um, the hoops or or the pearl in the second hole. They have so much more online though. They also have necklaces and rings. I'm kind of already making a wish list of what other pairs of earrings I want from them. And I definitely have my eyes on a pair called Ariel that have little like mermaid shells and pearls dangling. They're so beautiful. So I definitely need those. But yeah, if you are into dainty type of everyday wear jewelry that kind of like mixes and matches with your other pieces, definitely check out Ana Luisa. I will have their website linked down below and you can use my code AmyLynn10 for 10% off your order, which is so nice and fun. So thank you again, Ana Luisa, for sponsoring this video. I cannot tell you guys how obsessed I am with these earrings. So yeah. So I begin my mornings by waking up obviously. Here I am acting like I was asleep, but um, I usually start my days right now between 7.30 and 8. Um, we're not setting any alarms right now. We have the luxury to do that um, given what's going on in the world and I work from home and so I don't really set an alarm but I'm still kind of an early riser and I have allergies in the morning so I sneezed. But um, I just, it's probably bad. I mean, I know it's bad, but I just go through my emails. I handle a little bit of work, um, respond to any text messages I may have gotten, scroll a little bit through Instagram, just check my phone for just a little bit. And then when I'm done with the boring phone, I get into the real good stuff, which is Animal Crossing. I play Animal Crossing usually for like an hour in bed in the mornings, which I know is wild, but Animal Crossing is truly saving my mental health during this quarantine. And I love just doing my chores in the morning, getting my fossils, checking my mail. I love seeing what flowers I was able to like make overnight because I my favorite part of this game is crossbreeding all the flowers. As you can see, my island is full of flowers. And I do want to do an island tour at some point. I just, I, I don't know how to film on my switch so I need to do that but yeah I just run around doing my morning chores I definitely wanted to show you my mermaid outfit um, with the new summer update I have almost all of the mermaid things except the blue shoes but I am obsessed with the mermaid life in this game now so <laughs> that's me dressed in my princess mermaid dress but yeah I just spend some time in the morning usually from like 8 to 9 like the last thing I do is check the clothing shop when it opens at 9 and then I turn it off but yeah I just spend some time playing Animal Crossing and then it's time to cuddle Ludo. Ludo, his sleep has been weird lately. We've saying that we've, we've been saying that he's in this like weird teenage phase where now he like wakes up in the middle of the night and he wants to play, but then he like passes out hard and then it's hard to get him up in the morning. But here we are cuddling. Oh, you guys, I love him so much. There is nothing like a dog, man. It is just so good. So, and if um, you're curious, he is a mini golden doodle. He is almost six months. 
and I just love him. So we spent some time, oh, got the back of his tongue. <laughs> we spent some time kissing and cuddling in bed. He is not a morning dog, but yeah, we cuddle a lot in the bed. Then I'm usually pretty hungry. I'm like always ravenous when I wake up in the morning. So on this day, I didn't have any of my bagels that I made, which I do now, thank goodness I made them, but I just had half of one of Bradley's bagels and then we made some eggs to split. So here I am whisking up the eggs. I always have Bradley make the eggs because he makes them better than me. I always put too, min too much salt in our eggs, but Bradley's whipping up some eggs. I'm going to pour us some of my favorite defense up juice from the Evolution brand. Um, I started buying like the big size of this bottle and Ludie is very interested in what this bottle is. I let him sniff almost everything just because he's so curious and I, I don't know, it's fun to watch him sniff things. But I'm going to pour us some of that. We don't drink a ton of it. Um, it is, it's expensive, but that's not the reason why. We just have a little bit of it to share each morning just to make it last a little bit longer. In my cute honey cup from Anthropology, I can link that down below. But yeah, once everything is done, I just had some scrambled eggs, half a bagel, scarfed that down, and then I moved on with my day to a shower. I do take very quick morning showers just to help wake me up and to wash my face. You guys know I hate washing my face in the sink, but to do so, I have been using my Clarisonic. I didn't know I had a brush head, a backup brush head, but I found it. So I've been using that again, and then my Young Living Orange Blossom Facial Wash. I love this stuff, it's expensive, but I've had this bottle since December, and I'm not running out yet. And then also the Young Living Mint Satin Facial Scrub. Both of these are completely natural um, skincare, so I really like that, and they work great. Then I wash my body with my fave Alba Botanica Very Emollient Bath and Shower Gel. I like the Honey Mango scent. I also like the Tuberose scent. And then once I get out of the shower, I slather myself in the First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Cream. Then I'm going to pick something to wear, depending on what we're doing. I mean, if we're not going anywhere, I just put on lounge clothes, but we were seeing some, uh, either family or friends, I don't remember. We were seeing somebody today, so I put on my cute J. Crew dress. Then I'm putting on my jewelry, so for this day, I went for the Cassie hoops and then the mini pearls in my second hole. Um, this has kind of been what I've been wearing every single day. I know I've gotten a lot of messages from you guys on Instagram, so hope that answers your questions, but I love them, so I put those in. Now for some skincare, I am spraying some of my DIY face toner. It's basically witch hazel and a bunch of essential oils and then some water, but I really, really like it. I haven't bought the Lush toner I've been, I had been previously using in a while. Then I'm putting on the Schmitz Jasmine Tea Deodorant. I have been switching between three natural deodorants and it's really working out. I don't really hit that stage where my armpits get like weird and gross after a week of using the same natural deodorant. So these are the three I've been loving. Two of them by Schmitz, one by Young Living, um, the Jasmine Tea and Bergamot Lime, Lime by Schmitz, and then the Valor deodorant from Young Living. They all work great, so I just kind of alternate between those throughout the week. Um, this is the toothpaste I use, if you're curious. Just gonna quickly brush my teeth. Then I'm going to put on my First Aid Beauty Eye Cream. This has a little bit of like a shimmer to it, which I'm not even sure you can see the shimmer to be honest, but I do like that eye cream. And then I'm putting on some of my Simple Protecting SPF 15 Moisturizing like Lotion. I wear this stuff every day, you guys know. I am absolutely obsessed with it. It's very affordable and it's very effective. Then just while I do my hair, I put on some of this Fresh Rose Petal Lip, Petal Soft Lip Cream. I love this stuff. It reminds me exactly of the Dior Creme de Rose Lip Balm that I think they discontinued, um, but this is just heavenly. Something about it reminds me about, of my childhood. I'm not even sure why, but it just feels great. I'm wearing it right now as I speak. Then I'm moving on to my hair, and even on days where I'm not doing anything, if I've just freshly washed my hair, I like to curl it because it bothers me less if it's not like a frizzy mess. So it's usually always at least curled, and then I just let it kind of hang for a few days. So this day I was just kind of refreshing it. It definitely needed some dry shampoo, and I gave a little like wishy-washy face because I'm not crazy about this flavor that I'm using. Um, but it is Batiste, and I just spray that all in my roots, give it a nice good toss around in my root, not toss. I don't, I can't think of the word. Then I'm using my Tangle Teaser to just brush through my hair because it was pretty grody, I'm not gonna lie to you. So just distribute all the dry shampoo, brush out any knots, and then I am going to section it off and just kind of give it a refresher. If you wanna see my in-depth hair care routine and like how I curl my hair, I will link that up in the corner. But for the most part, it's just taking out sections and curling them. So I'm just giving my hair a good old refresh. And 
and as I'm doing this, I have Jessica Braun on my iPad, of course. You guys know I love a good oil in my hair, so I'm taking my Vibrant Sexy Hair Rose Elixir Spray. You can use this on your skin and your hair. I mainly, I don't think I've ever used it on my skin, but it smells really good and I just love that it's like a light enough oil to be sprayed and I love it for my hair. And then a little blast from the past in order to keep my like, not even bangs, but like the front section of my hair out of my face. I've been taking a chunk of it and braiding it. This is like, I used to do this because I saw Lauren Conrad on the hills do it and I used to do it all the time. So I am living in 2004. That's 2007 maybe, but <laughs> I think it looks super cute and it's a very effective way of getting like your hair out of your face if you still want to wear it down. So I just braid it a little bit. I also braid backwards, so don't let that confuse you. I Dutch braid. I learned how to braid wrong, but whatever, it's fine. So I just braid a little bit down the way and then I pin it back and then I use three bobby pins. I have bitchy hair, so I use three of those guys to keep it in place. And yeah, that stays all day and it's cute and keeps my hair out of the way, so I've been enjoying that. Also something kind of weird I've been doing, but I've been putting a drop of essential oil on my head. I've been using this Idaho Blue Spruce Oil. It has like the highest frequency, so it's supposed to make you feel happy. And your head acts as like a natural diffuser all day, so I've been enjoying that. Then I am going to fill up mostly all of the diffusers. Um, this is my Desert Mist Diffuser, and I am trying this combination today, that Idaho Blue Spruce again. I'm obsessed with it and grapefruit and lemon. I don't remember where I saw this uh, diffuser blend, but I wanted to try it. This is my first day. Totally loved it. I'm actually diffusing it again right now out in the living room, um, but it just, it smells so good. I love any citrus combination, and then I also love any of like the sprucey pine oils. They just smell so good. I usually get a bit carried away, but I tried to put like four of each of lemon and grapefruit and then two of the Idaho blue spruce. And then yeah, this did I say this is the Desert Mist Diffuser? It is. I was trying to take some beautiful shots of it, but the dog was in the background with his butt in the air and his tail. We gave him this um, fox toy. And if you've seen the Labyrinth, which is what Ludo is named after, there's also like a little fox guy and his name is Sir Didymus. So we named that little fox Sir Didymus. And I, it just, it doesn't get any cuter. Also, he demands to sit on your lap as he rips apart a toy. It's really cute and uncomfortable at the same time, but here's a little shot of Ludi and his morning routine. And then I also fill up the um, other kind of like living room kitchen diffuser with the same blend. This is the Dew Drop diffuser, and if you get either of the starter kits, or if, sorry, if you get a starter kit, you can get either of these um, diffusers. You can pick, so yeah. last diffuser I'm filling up is my newest one, the Lucia diffuser. I have this in my office, which is also where I do my makeup. Um, oils just like help me feel energized in the morning, especially citrus ones. So I'm diffusing, of course, bergamot in my office. I love it. I'm diffusing it right now. And I am completely obsessed with this diffuser. It says it's limited edition. It's still on their website if you've been wanting one. The colors are beautiful and I just can't get enough. So... Yeah, then it is time for makeup. And this is just kind of what I've been doing kind of on a daily basis if I'm in the mood to wear makeup just because it's really easy. So I'm starting with the NYX BB Cream, which you guys know I freaking love. It's like $12 and it's so effective. I'm using this Morphe brush. I will have also, of course, everything listed down below if I speed past something or if I don't know the name of something, which is very likely, but I'm just taking this Morphe, it's, it's a foundation brush and just blending that all over my face. I enjoy this because I don't have to have the extra step of getting my beauty blender damp, which is so lazy, but you know, when you're in a rush and in a hurry, it just saves an extra step. My lips were looking a little crusty, so I used some of the Laneige Berry Lip Glowy Balm. You guys know that I love this stuff. Well, I don't love it, but I'm using it up and I do like it. So I'm just slathering that all over my lips. Then I'm going in with my cream bronzer from Chanel, the Soleil Tan de Chanel, and this Real Techniques brush that I love for this bronzer. It just kind of stipples it on there. And this bronzer is, I love it. There's only one shade, which is kind of crappy, um, but it is, and it is a little bit more on the, like the warm side, but if you do it right, I feel like it just looks really natural and really nice and it sets down nicely. It doesn't look muddy. I just, I love it. So I've been using that constantly this summer. 
And my new favorite thing is the Physician's Formula Natural Defense Multicolor Stick. I think this is the shade Soft Pink. I am obsessed with this, you guys. I keep talking about it, but now you'll finally be able to see me like put it on. So I literally just put it right on my cheek and then I use a duo fiber brush to just blend it out. And I love this product. It has all the benefits of a cream product. Oh, I saw some eyebrow hairs that I absolutely had to pluck. But anyway, it has all the benefits of a cream product, but it really does set down to like a powder consistency. So it doesn't move, it stays all day, but it just kind of feels hydrating. I don't know. I love it. I think it is completely worth the $12 or whatever that it is. Then I've also been using a cream highlighter. This is the Benefit Watts Up Highlighter. I freaking love this thing. If you've been on my channel from the beginning, you know I've always loved this thing. It's just so good and like foolproof to use. I don't even use a brush. It comes with a little brush thing on the end. I don't even use that. I just put it directly on my face and then I use my finger to blend it in. I will take my finger and put a little bit on my eyelid, down my nose, my cupid's bow, under my eyebrows. I just highlight to the gods. And I love this thing and it's really, really easy to blend in, blends in nicely with the blush as well. And after I blend everything and I just take that duo fiber brush again to blend everything together. And since my eyelids will crease no matter what I have on my face, I am gonna take a little bit of this papaya shade from this Bare Minerals palette and a Luxie blending brush and just put that in my crease just to kind of give it a little definition, but mostly so that I don't get nasty like foundation lines in my eyelids. So we're just gonna buff that in. Then I'm going to curl both sets of lashes and I'm going in with my current fave, the CoverGirl Bambi Eye Mascara. No, it's L'Oreal Bambi Eye Mascara. Love this stuff. I never thought I would like use another mascara besides my CoverGirl Clump Crusher, but this has been my obsession lately. I don't know if I like it more than my Clump Crusher, but it's definitely taken over my mascara at the moment. So I'm applying about 45 coats of that and then I did make a little bit of a mess. So if you ever do that, just wait for it to dry and then you take a Q-tip and you kind of just buff it away and it very easily wipes away when it's dry. Then I'm going in with my favorite Benefit, Benefit Gimme Brow. I use the shade 3. Um, this is kind of, it's a tinted brow gel, but it also adds fibers to make your like brows a little thicker. Um, nothing too thick because I already have pretty bushy brows and apparently they needed to be tweezed. But just like the difference from not using this to having this on is amazing. And so, and it's just so easy. So I use this almost every day. It's pretty much the only brow product I use anymore. And then that's not enough setting for me, so I do go over it with the 24-hour brow setter, also from Benefit, my favorite like clear brow setting gel. And so I just brush them up and then kind of seal them down. Then I usually go back in with another 45 coats of mascara, and after that, that is it. So it's pretty easy, just like all my favorite quick, almost all cream products, just for like a quick look. Nothing too fancy, but makes me feel put together. Oh, messed up my hair a little bit. <laughs> but then yeah, I'm going to apply this Anthropology Perfume Oil Blend. And actually, if you get a starter kit with me this month and click yes to Essential Rewards, I will, I'm gonna send you a bunch of stuff, but this is one of them. I, this was like a diffuser blend you can diffuse and it smells like an anthropology store, but I thought, what if I turned it into a perfume? And I've been obsessed with it. And I also love this little bottle roller thing that it's in. So I'm putting that on as perfume today. And I'm also going to take my um, Young Living Calm CBD roller and just roll that right behind my ears. I've been relying on this thing so much. It just smells so good and helps keep me calm. But yeah, guys, that is it for my morning routine. I'll either go out and do whatever I'm gonna do or I sit down at my computer to do some work. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I feel like this was a very long, thorough, in-depth morning routine. Hope you enjoyed it. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you very soon with a new video. Bye.